Alright guys, today we're here to talk, talk about the two Morphe palettes, well I have more than two, but specific two, the 25A and the 35O. For the longest time, I had wanted the 25A, I didn't have the 35O when I had been looking at the 25A, and really wanted it, really wanted it, really wanted it. Already bought the 35O. Don't know what made me crave and buy that one. But then I had gotten a coupon from Ulta, $5 off a $10 purchase, non-prestige. Found out Morphe's non-prestige, which is fantastic for any of us that get those coupons in the Ulta app and flyer and all that. So I finally caved, went in, and bought the 25A palette. So I get home, and I'm looking at it. And I had my 35O sitting on the table, and I open it, and I look at that, and a lot of the colors, except for the shimmers, are the exact same thing that's in my 35O. Like, I just spent more money to buy another palette where it looks almost exactly the same. So here is the 25A. Can you see that? All? Okay. So here's the 25A. I know the natural sunlight kind of changes the colors if it's not hit right. Okay, so there's that. And here's the 35O. I'm going to do some swatches here. I'm not going to just try and show you the palette. But if any of you are sitting here with them side by side, like I was, you can kind of already start to see the similarities. Obviously, these brown, or not, <laughs> these orange tones are not in this palette. It's more the browns. The only orange tone is the two shimmers. Yeah. But a lot of the neutrals. So we are going to do some swatches of colors that I think look similar and see what we see. Let's start with those shimmers that I did. Um, nothing's primed, nothing's no primer, just natural skin. So this is the 35O shimmer in that corner. Well, would you look at that? I do not see a difference. I see the exact same color from the 25A and the 35O. And I looked on their website and it doesn't say anything about this being a smaller version, having duplicate colors. So if I had not read that on their website and just missed it, I, that would be my fault. And I wouldn't have any problem. But the fact of the matter is it doesn't say anything on their website about it. They literally describe colors and reused them. So there's that one. Um, let's see what else we have. I'm trying to show you so you know. These two right here are what we're going to do next. using different fingers. This is from the 25A. This is from the 35O. So on this one I can see a tint maybe of difference or my swatching is just really that bad. But honestly, it's so close. Like, why do I need a whole nother palette, a smaller palette? Yes, I know some people would say for traveling. But I would rather have one bigger palette that I take that has more shades in it. And then taking two different palettes because it didn't have the orange tones that I wanted. Um, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> so, 
We're going to take this shimmer right here from the 25A and this shimmer right here from the 35O. So, twenty five A and thirty five O. Now, once again, there might be a tint of difference. But, once again, why do I need two different palettes that almost give me the exact same freaking look? <sighs> need to clean these off. <laughs> Dropping everything. off my fingers okay once again hand now cleaned off don't mind my tan line I usually wear a big ass Fitbit all right so let's look at some of the matte shades This is not as easy as you think. We're gonna take, what was it? Do do. Ah, this one and this one. They're both a, turns out they're actually a light shimmery looking matte. Dropping stuff. Okay, here is 25A. Here is 35O. I don't know about you, but they look pretty similar to me. Um, what else do we have? Let's go for these two. I think they might have a smidge different of an undertone. Let's find out. 25A, 35O. Oh, I picked up a lot more on that second swatch. It's better. I mean, once again, we're looking at same freaking colors. So honestly, can somebody tell me why? I get base I get putting in like the basic kind of cream colors and you know the basic kind of blending like the really light ones. I get that. I really do. But why are you going to duplicate I'm sorry, I'm cleaning cleaning off my hand. Why are you going to duplicate yeah. Mommy's talking. Why are you going to duplicate almost an entire palette add a few more colors in? and make it the 35O or vice versa, you take out some colors and make it a 25A. I really feel like that's lying to your customer base. Like, lately it seems like all they're doing is taking colors from their other palettes, putting it in a different palette, and saying, it's a brand new palette. Give us more money. Like, I think Morphe's great for the price it is. Like, this was $18.99 before my coupon. It's really not a bad price. It really isn't. So I'm not mad about that. And like this one was $23.99 I think. So honestly like you get the sturdy plastic. You get depending on you know what you buy 35 colors for $23.99. It's really good. Their product is great. But I'm not going to be a consumer that keeps spending money on the same crap. Because honestly, there's so much makeup that I want to buy. And if I'm going to keep buying the same 
freaking crap in smaller slash bigger packaging, depending on which way you bought them. That's just wasteful. You could get so much more of other stuff. And believe me, anybody who's seen my makeup room can tell you. I have a lot of makeup. I love makeup. I buy it as much as I possibly can without having to worry about bills not going paid or my dogs not having food. I work. I work a lot. I work hard. So for you to try and freaking trick us, dupe us, whatever you want to call it, it's not okay. I work really hard for my money and I'm a little freaking irritated when I notice that this is the same palette. It's going back. This is why I buy from Alter and Sephora because I get money back guarantee. And I hate to be that customer that returns things. But I, it's ridiculous. Like this should have never happened. I should have known or it should have been put somewhere on the on Morphe's page, on Ulta, on the description, anywhere. That this is a bigger palette of this or this is a smaller palette of this. It should have been put somewhere. So this, to me, is not acceptable, and I'm not going to be keeping, and I don't know if, honestly, I'll be buying any more Morphe palettes. I really thought I would, but after seeing this, I don't know if I want to give them money. I really don't. So we will see how that goes. Um, yeah. Until then, I'm going to go see what else I can pick up at Ulta for the money I get back from this. Alright. Thanks for listening to my little rant. Bye!